it contains humerus, radius ulna, hand, and wrist. Next. Firstly, the humerus. The humerus connects the scapula and the two bones of the lower arm, which is the radius and ulna. Humerus can be the anterior and the posterior. Um, the anterior view, we can see two indentions, which is corinoid fossa and the radial fossa at the distal of the humerus. Um, meanwhile, the posterior view, we only we can see the electronic fossa. And for anterior view, we can see one giant bump located in the middle at the top of the humerus, humerus which is called lesser tubercle. And for posterior view, we cannot see the lesser tubercle. Next. Okay, for radius ulna, radius is the thicker and the shorter bone. If compared to the ulna, which is more thin and longer bone. Radius um, locate at the lateral side of the forearm. Meanwhile, ulna locate medial side of the forearm. Okay, next. Okay, hand. Um, hand, the skeleton of the human hand consists 27 bones, which is we can divide it into three parts, which is the phalanges, metacarpal, and carpal. The carpal consists the wrist bone. Metacarpal consists the bone, which, which is we can divide into five digits. And the first one start with the thumb, and the second, third, fourth and fifth. And the phalange, we can name it as the distal, middle and the proximal. The phalanges uh, consist three bone, except for the thumb that only consists two bone. Okay, next. Okay, the wrist, um, the wrist located at the carpal of the hand and it can be divided into two rows, which is the scarf, um, proximal row and the distal row. Um, on the proximal row, we can see the scaphoid, lunate, triquetum, and pisiform bone. bone. Meanwhile, the distal row contains the trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hemet. And we also uh, can easily to understand using this using this word. Um, she looks too pretty. Try to catch her. Um, we can use the first alphabet of the word, um, which is start with the proximal row, and then go to the distal row. Okay, next. 